Hi friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. I am so glad that you could join me today. I love calling you my friend because that is what you are. And I love it when we get to see each other, whether it's at church or maybe it's at a park or maybe it's at the store. I always like seeing you because you are my friend. And I hope that Jesus is your forever friend. Hey, I've got a question for you. If you could be any animal, what would you want to be? What do you think? What animal would you want to be? A lion? A sloth? A kangaroo? An octopus? If you were an octopus, you could hug a bunch of people at one time. Who said they wanted to be a holy cow? Why would you want to be a holy cow? Oh, so you could pick on Jeff? Oh, stop picking on Jeff. He's a good friend of mine. But you know what? Um, if I could be an animal, I think I would like to be a swan. Yes, a swan. Why would I want to be a swan? Because swans are beautiful. They're elegant. They swim across the top of the water. They float. They, it looks like they have nothing to worry about. They are so smooth and graceful. They are never never seem to be in a hurry. Uh, they appear to be graceful on top of that water, just gliding along. You don't see how fast their feet are moving under the water, but they seem to be moving with a lot of elegance and a lot of peace. I think that this is a picture of who God desires for you and me to be. He wants us to be like a swan, someone filled with peace and beauty. A swan doesn't appear to be worried. And, and, and that's what I think God wants for us, his children, not to be worrisome. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Humble yourself, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all of your anxiety, all of your cares on him because he cares for you. Then it goes on to say, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, resist him, stand firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. So if we wanted to be an animal, maybe we would want to be a swan. But if you could be two kinds of animals, what would your second choice be? Um, a platypus? That's a good choice. An eagle? Ooh, that'd be fun. An ape? A monkey? A snake? A puppy or a kitten? Huh. If I could be two animals, I would like to be a swan and I would like to be an elephant. I'd like to be a swan and an elephant. And uh, so let me ask you this question. Who do you think the king of the jungle is? We often say the king of the jungle is the lion. But the lion really isn't the king of the jungle because when the elephant comes along, the, the lion gets out of his way. I think the, the elephant is the true king of the jungle. Now, in a moment ago, I read a verse and it talked about a lion. It talked about the devil, our enemy, who prowls around like a roaring lion. He's not really a roaring lion. He just likes to act like one and make a lot of noise. And some people blame our enemy, the devil, for their problems. But we can become the devil's problem when we remember who we belong to and that Jesus loves us and that we live for Jesus. And we love Jesus more than our enemy ever loves us. And if I could be that second animal, it would be this elephant, the real king of the jungle. An elephant walks with boldness because they know that they are strong. And the Bible tells us to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, to put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's scheme. So let's stand strong in trusting Jesus as our Savior, strong in what God the Father wants us to be. God wants us to be strong in his word and bold in our faith. And Jesus wants our life uh, and he wants us following him. And we can be we can be gentle and peaceful like the swan, and we can be bold and strong like the elephant. So let's go be great children of God. Bye-bye.